This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and as you can imagine, daily, monthly, yearly, we get a ton of questions, whether they're in regards to concrete in general and how it dries or how to measure the moisture in it, or about our Rapid RH product line specifically. So what we decided to do is break down a few different videos with, with some of the, the different types of questions that we get on a frequent basis. Can smart sensors be reused or recovered? Well, when you really look at it, the answer could be yes, but they're not intended to be, they're not designed to be, and if they were removed, recovered, reused, they would not fall into follow the ASTM, following the ASTM F2170 specifications. And the reason is very simply, is that once you put the sensor into the ground, you have fins here on the bottom that act as a crush fit, and they gasket any potential air from getting from the room down to where the sensor is actually reading at the bottom of the sensor. So by pulling those out, they're meant to only be used once. Also with every single packet of sensors that you get, you have a certificate of calibration that comes in that packet that guarantees that all of the sensors fall within the ASTM specifications for calibration when following ASTM F2170. Fortunately or unfortunately, if you reuse the sensors, you lose that, that calibration guarantee. Does the Rapid RH reader ever need calibration? Well, again, the calibration really, when you look at the ASTM standard, revolves around the sensor itself. It's the small piece inside here, it has nothing to do with the reader. So when I look at the reader, much like this, this is what I affectionately call the stupid part of the whole system. All it will do is actually it's meant to be put into the sensor, it energizes it, and it gives a reading. So at the end of the day, there's no pieces here that can get out of calibration. And inside of each packet of sensors, there's a recording sheet. And this recording sheet goes along with all the information required by ASTM, the sensor serial number, locations, depths, times, and things of that nature. Now, if doing things manually like this as far as written documentation is not your bag, keep in mind that we have come out with the Data Master and the Bluetooth Reader that will actually get that information, transmit it to the Data Master, and allow you to upload to our website and verify that all the calibration is intact. One of the most frequent questions we get around here is whether or not I truly wear those hideous orange shoes. And as you can see by the looks of them, I wear them quite often. This is Jason Spangler, signing off.